<laughs> All right, well, you picked the perfect day to join us because today is Taste of Tuesday. And this is a perfect Taste of Tuesday for us because we're talking all things Eaton Park. And the reason why is because they have this new book out. It's called The Story Behind the Smile. I and love it. Yeah, and it's really just talking about the history of Eaton Park. And I was looking through this earlier, and there's some good facts in here. I mean, who doesn't love the strawberry pie, but oh. I saw this right here. So the first Eaton Park opened uh, June 5th, 1949, and that wow. was on Sawmill Run Boulevard um, on Route 51 in the South Hills. I, I didn't know that's, that. That's a long yeah. time. And this is, I also found this about the strawberry pie, okay? So who doesn't love strawberry My pie? Friends. 47,000, actually over 47,000 strawberry pies were sold. That's 142 pounds of strawberries. That's just in 2022. I mean, I probably consumed half of that over my lifetime, but you know. <laughs> what I really want to know is why is it not park and eat? I know oh, a lot of people have asked that question. Yeah. Is it in that book? That's what I want to know. That's a good question, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you you worked there, right? Yeah, we had talked about this before. Both you and I had worked there. I think you were in high school, though. I was mm -hmm. um, in college briefly. It was my only waitressing job over the summer, and I did the overnight shift. So I definitely dealt with like the people coming back from the club and the people coming back from the after hours club. Wait, and so which one did you work at? Squirrel Hill, yeah, the same me too. one. Yeah. yeah, and we both, you know, were so sad when it closed. Um, I forget when that was, April it maybe, was recently. but yeah, yeah, it just was such good memories. I just remember spending a lot of time there after, whether it was high school, college, you know, just hanging out with, it was the place where you could bring a huge group of friends. Yeah, it was. I loved working there and it, it was so nice of them because they sent us this beautiful, it looks delicious, uh, one of their chocolate cream pies yes. that I'm going to dig into. And then they have their Can holiday mm. uh, smiley cookies. And you know, I had talked about this earlier in the week. I love all things Eaton Park, especially their pies, their apple pie, their, oh, their, all of their pies, their strawberry pie. How is it? It's so good. I love their strawberry. Um, one of my favorite things was their strawberry muffins, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are good, too. And their buffet. I think I heard you say that my, yesterday. You know, my grandmother, she lives in Maryland. And when we were younger, she would come to Pittsburgh to visit. And she, I mean, she has, she's a woman of high taste. Mm. <laughs> she wanted to come to Eaton Park. They to have get, everything. To get like little rolls with the powdered mm -hmm. snow tops on them. Mm -hmm. That was her thing. Like she loved it. So it's Potato really a soup. good. Oh, yeah. We love you, Eaton Park. Yeah. Eaton Park, the place. It's really, smiles. I know, it's really a good hometown favorite. favorite. So yeah. again, it's the story behind the smile. You can find these in all of the Eaton Park stores. Um, and also what's really cool is that the proceeds will go to the Children's Hospital Free Care Fund, which Aww. KDKA is a proud partner of. Absolutely. So we love That's supporting so awesome. that. So 